In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own website to offer a chat GPT as a service. And we're going to build a website that interacts with the OpenAI API and gives the visitor of your website a customized response that has gone through the chat GPT prompt that we give it. The tool that we're going to be using to build this website is Vercel. If you haven't used Vercel before, it's a platform that hosts and helps you deploy websites and you can hook it up to a GitHub repo. And they also have this library of templates. And one of these templates is a chat GPT template. Here's a chat bot and there's actually another one here, Twitter. This is the one we're looking for. So we want to go to Vercel templates and find this AI Twitter bio generator. And you can see here that this uses the open AI chat GPT three API. Um, so we can go ahead and deploy this repo. You're going to need to have a GitHub con account connected to Vercel, which I already have here. Then we can set up this repo, deploy it. Okay, then we need to put in our OpenAI key. So we'll go over to the OpenAI website, go to our API keys and create a new key. I'm gonna create a new temporary one. Take that key and put it into this field here. This is our environment variables. And then we can deploy that. And now Vercel is, has created the GitHub repo for us and is now deploying this website, uh, building this application. And this should take, depending on the application, it takes 15 seconds to a minute and a half usually to build, to build your app. And now every time we make a new commit to this GitHub repository, it's automatically going to make a new deployment of the website. If you want your own website that's offering a chat GPT service, but you don't have time to set it up, or this is a little too technical for you, we'd be happy to build it for you. So reach out to Starmorph, either leave a comment below on YouTube or reach out on our contact uh, page on our website, and we'd be happy to help you get this set up. Okay, our project is done building, and now we can go check out the website we have. Okay, so really quickly, we were able to get this website that uses ChatGPT to generate a Twitter bio. So let's just try this out to see what we have. Let's write a bio about Starmorph web design, which offers AI services and search engine optimization services. And then you can choose different language styles, do professional, There we go, it hit ChatGPT and gave us these two outputs. All right, so we have this website working. Now let's say we wanna make it for a different purpose. Maybe we don't want Twitter bios, maybe we want Facebook advertising headlines or YouTube titles, or we wanna write a blog post, um, or we wanna write a web page description. Let's take a look at the code of the website that we have here and see how we can change it to make it whatever service we want. So we'll go over to GitHub and we'll go to the new repo that was created by Vercel. Here it is. We'll clone the repo. Okay, so now that we have the repo, we will go into the repo. The first thing we want to do actually is do an npm install to get everything we need locally to work with the repo. Now we can open up the code. And let's go first to see where they're generating the bios. So let's look at the code and find where that's going on. Here's the index page generated bios. Okay, here's the prompt right here that we're sending to ChatGPT. So if we change this, it's gonna change the purpose of the product. So this is what we wanna customize right here. 
Okay, we've now updated the prompt to be creating a YouTube video title. So next let's in update our environment file. That is gonna tell the app which OpenAI um, API key to use. So we can see they made an example environment file here. We're gonna copy that file and create just the, the .n file. Now we're gonna grab our OpenAI key that we had before, which we can find in our Vercel settings. Here we go. Okay, now we'll paste that OpenAI API key in there. And now we need to run this app locally on our machine. NPX next dev. For some people it might just be next dev, depending on what package manager you're using. And let's see if it's live. Here we go. Generate your next YouTube video title in seconds. Let's see if it works. A video about making a chat GPT website in one hour or less. We need to update that button. Let's see. There we go, we have some YouTube titles. So that's a basic example of how you could reframe this to be for whichever product you'd like it to be, not just a Twitter bio, and create a one-page website that allows you to interact with ChatGPT. If you found this video useful, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel for more AI videos. I have a few great ideas of new stuff that I'm gonna be building and showing you guys how to build as well and really staying up to date with all of the new AI technology that's coming out. And I wanna fill you guys in on that. So subscribe and like this video so you can see our future videos soon. Thanks for watching.